stuff up in Yorkshire there with, with your dad. I know you came into this in the early days. How did you sort of get involved in the whole the whole sport, really? Yeah, I mean, I think I liked all, all, all sports, you know, um, football, athletics, riding, and it was just, I, I think, probably, it was just that I happened to be better at riding than, than, than anything else, you know, and I always liked horses. Yeah. Um, so I put ponies up it was that. Um, you know, we, we had to do it all on the... You know, the, 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 there wasn't much money available as far as buying them, so I had to ride all sorts of things just to um, yeah, get them into shape, improve them, and then and it's something I've actually been interested in all my life for pr producing um, young ones yeah. rather than having an older one to resurrect. I'd rather have a younger one yeah. with, with a clean sheet and go from there. And yeah. that's how we got. I mean, I, you know, if I had a proud boast, I would say there's nobody. Uh, that has produced more horses um, from, you know, zero to international horses yeah. than, than myself, you know, yeah. Yeah. As, as far as yeah. GP is concerned. Yeah. So that that's something I've always done, still doing it with the lads now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you know, I just, I just like to see how they, you know, how they mature, how they come on, and, you know, every, every horse is different. Yeah. So it causes a lot more headaches than others. <laughs> yeah. So was it a fairly, you know, obviously you're coming up through the ranks, through the age grades and whatever, was it a fairly sort of routine progress for you or was it the clubs in the road, so to speak? Oh, jeez, it's been a lot of months. Yeah. Every, every pass we've had is just held together. <laughs> <laughs> I've smashed a lot of over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Right. But, um, uh, yeah, there's a there's uh, you have to be prepared for that, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's... Um, uh, you know, I've been, I've been lucky to win probably some of the best Grand Prix in the, in the world, you know, all the Olympia, 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 so, you know, yeah, I, 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 you know, lucky enough to have some good old things, and, and enjoy that, you know, jumping at the top level, you know, for the years that I did it. Right into public eye. Yeah. And Keeney would never get captain. They were quite elegant things, weren't they? Without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, it, it, it's um, it, it, sometimes it's sad that when people talk about show jumping now, they talk about the riders of yesteryear rather than today, you know, because they remember the David Brooms, the Harvey Smiths, the, you know, Eddie Macklin, etc. And because, as you said, there was an awful lot of, you know, exposure there. And, and when you went, to, you know, for example, at Olympia, which is always just pre Christmas, you know, wherever you go to, whether it was you know, just a restaurant or a party or whatever, nearly everybody knew what you'd done. You know, if you happened to have won the Grand Prix of World of World, what happened? Why did you have a fence down and that track? You know, the, but they all knew what was happening. Whereas now that, you know, the wood. Before it was a very, very big audience, you know. And you were kind of household names in the way, weren't you? You know, the fact that I think David Broom won the Sports Deal Personal Award for the year. Yeah. Well, it would be very hard to think. I mean, Ben, ben Mayer, the uh, last year, won the, you know, the gold medal. Um, but was his name put forward? No. You know, and that, that really. Um, answers your question, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? And it's it's a shame, doesn't that? A bigger and, and better following. Yeah, you know, we had a good crowd. Where, whichever show you went to, you know, if you went to Hicks, that there was always five or six yeah. English press there for the for the different newspapers. You know, and even it wasn't just it did it did get that there were only sort of the Telegraph and the Times doing this, but uh, as you said, an era that you're talking about. You know that the mirror did it, the sun did it. You know that they all, they all. It was, it was followed. And uh, sometimes, the sun, I mean, I do think the promotion of the sport is very poor. And you know, when you think we've had two gold medalists next scout, as Ben Mayer has said before. That's why they say that you want to get on with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we all got on. The only time you're trying to beat the competitors, obviously, until the bottom of 
analyze who's in it or uh, what horses have got in it. And then you could only you could only go as fast as as that as that horse you got in that competition is capable of. You know, you keep going with the novice and go a little bit quick and turn a bit tighter. Billy Jane King, the great great tennis player, um, I remember we did her autobiography, and she said, "There's times you've got to play percentage tennis." And I think that applies a lot to shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about Buddy Floyd. Who was the yeah, it, it was, you, was it? yeah, it was it was a great host, you know. Even as um, a four year old, uh, you know, you, 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 it was one of those that matured. Really, when I think about it, as a, a five and six, he was actually quite slow as a four year old, and he, he sort of. I, you know, we we kind of worked together. I did right from the start, and um, it was a little bit more highly strong as a sort of a four year old, and he probably looked in later life. But it was, hey, it was a top class horse. You know, he won the Ireland Grand Prix, and he won national championship. You know, he won all sorts of things. Yeah, the horses then had to had to, had to compete on on any. Brand. I mean, we're bringing it here to look at this now in all weather. Yeah. Um, I mean, that had all the oscillations, and if you came here when, you know, the, the, the Welsh Derby or the Good Grand Prix, you didn't say, oh, it's raining, we better go home. You know, it, 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 most of them, they had to, they had to adapt. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes the, the ground wasn't all that we wanted. But you, you know, you have to, you have to go with it. I sometimes think that 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 has been to the detriment of the sports. Right. That in those arenas, and, and of course we still have them, and that's why yeah, you've got, you know, when again going back to work and it's sixty thousand double A is a marvelous, so uh, you know, atmosphere and, and the, the thousands of people that go there to watch the nations go the Grand Prix. But it's all on again. It's at the grass arenas, undulations. Which so when you've got it, if it's here, was 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 could be really tough. You know, you have, when you're going down the hill, yeah. down a slope, yeah. and you've got a, a combination of uh, or a, a double at the bottom or a big vertical, yeah. um, that takes a lot more jumping than it does on an all weather surface. And then, and I'll do, you know, lots of going up the up the slope. Things that are differently, then you know, you a little bit more leg, a little bit more impulsion. That, and, and I think those side of things are, 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 are in, in, you know, in, were something that people watched and enjoyed. Now, I've had quite a bit to do with the yachts during the years. The house was full. Um, and, and yeah, it was, it was a great atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you put that. And you said not thinking of it, but just supposing it was uh, an all weather arena, would it look as as good a spectacle? I'm not so sure. It has had a bit to do with the, the, the decline of the sport as far as the as far as it being a popular sport. Yeah. It hasn't from a competitive point of view. No. Um, you know, it's 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 the last few years have been real hope times for the numbers uh, competing, etc. And I think, you know, a lot of that, you get to it if you've to a show like this before, uh, you know, it all of them been studying up, you know, which was uh, a good labor of books, to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, US owed it uh, to stud half a dozen horses of the, you know, it's it's, it's yeah. not the easiest of jobs. Well, all of a sudden, that doesn't need doing that anymore. What's sure all the difference? I think the selectors did a bad job when they went over what, what's happened with Montreal. You know, I think they should have. I think there was a team that was in Britain at the time. Um, you know, I should have taken Butterman by, for example. John Whitaker was left at O'Brien's son, Tony Newbury Warwick. There was um, there, there was a team that the left at home that didn't select, and they should have done. When we were there, to me it was very, it was very annoying because there was, there was a team left, or horses left at home, yeah. that 
put and should have, would have meant that they've gone. The, I think the slight just think they would put it on big jumping horses. Now, don't get me wrong, the individual was a, was a monster. Yeah. But they, the team, this next horse, the team was home that was, was capable of winning a medal. And then the, there was the, uh, uh, the Moscow Olympics that was actually, the question was run at, at uh, Rotterdam. What they call Olympics, Olympics, yeah. yeah. And, and that was, I mean, all the best teams were there. It's a really, really tough course. And we we actually um, uh, won a silver medal. We got beat by one, one both, you know. And that was, a, again, a bit disappointing because it was still... Yeah, it wasn't the tour of the